this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving matrix with the Castillo FS 901 ES class risk calculator, Castillo FS 570 ES class risk calculator, and second for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, determinants of matrix, and inverse of matrix together with transpose of matrix with the Casio FS 901 ES class risk calculator so guys ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video because i'm going to learn a lot okay so having done that before we get a Casio calculator i'm moving to the details of this video let's quickly look at the question i have here and see what and what we are going to find so the question says if a equals this value that's matrix a equals this value that matrix b equals these values find a two times matrix a plus matrix b and b part of it four times matrix a minus two times matrix b c a dots matrix a dots matrix b that matrix a times matrix b that what it means then the determinants of matrix a E inverse of matrix B and lastly F transpose of matrix A. Okay, so these are interesting problems to solve with the Casio calculator as it will solve them fast in seconds. So let's get the calculator now, guys, and dive into details of this video. Okay, so let's be the Casio calculator. Okay, guys, so this is a Casio calculator. Now the very first thing you have to do is to clear the calculator, the essence of doing it is to put the calculator in default mode so remove whatever previous value or mode you might have put the calculator on so to clear for those of you that don't know how to clear to clear to put in default mode you simply press shift button 9 put the instruction initialize or press string then press equal to and press the button again so guys it's not in the first mode we are glad it next thing you have to do now is to put it in matrix mode so guys to do that you press menu and select matrix you use this to navigate it so the matrix is what option four okay so once you press option four it will bring to this place and ask you to define your matrix so guys we are going to define our matrix so we have matrix a here which is we have two matrices a and b so let's define our matrix a first one is mat a so once you do it it will point you to select the rule of your matrix so guys it's very important that you select the order of the matrix so we're going to select the rule the column respectively so this it, we call it order a matrix order of matrix rule and column so the rule of this mat a so how many rules do we have here we have three rules rules refer to the horizontal alignment of your values so we have three horizontal alignment here we have one two and three so we have the rules we have three then the column will also have the column if reflects refers to the vertical alignment of your values. So we have three columns as well. Three columns. So the columns have the select way. So guys, this is it. So now let's impute the values of this order of matrix. So we have two. First of all, two. Two. First of all, two. I have three. First of all, two. Then we have one. Press of call two, we have three. Press of call two, we have two. Press of call two, then we have four. Press of call two, we have one. Press of call two, we have three. Press of call two. Now, guys, note that as I'm choosing these values, the calculator is storing them automatically. So now, what the calculator does, it stores the value automatically as I impute them. So, having known that, that these values are already stored automatically, Let's wipe it by pressing S key and go and put the values from matrix B. You press S key, so you go back to 
define matrix to do that the first option then define matrix the first one now this is my one let's define matrix b that's two okay so what's the rule of matrix b only will still three we have three rules there first three then column still three columns i've explained this already so let's repeat the values we have seven minus one okay we have a zero all right so let's put the next values we have two three and minus two okay so we have one we have four and we have six okay so having known that these values are already stored let's write them out now and begin to find respective to what we have to find for this question so guys a says we find two times matrix a plus matrix b very simple guys so to do that first option then matrix a which is three then since we have two the place here for the place is first order we have two matrix a that will have the plus matrix b go back to option four that's it right correct so first of course now get the values so guys yeah, this is the answer to the addition of these two matrices so it's as simple as this these are what the values so let's find the subtraction aspect of this let's wipe these out go back to option then we have matrix a that's straight go to the back and put four come back here and put minus that subtraction then go to and choose to put two a right two minus two then option max b that's it guys it's as simple as that so basically now to get the results answer so this is it guys is as simple as that so that's what the aspect of this question now let's solve for the multiplication aspect of it it's very, very simple guys so let's wipe this out we go back to option matrix a that's three times it's as simple as that guy goes to option matrix b which is what four so this a dot b stands for multiplication a dot b or a times b the two the same thing so let's press the course so now guys and get our answer the multiplication of these two matrices so this is the answer guys is as simple as that so let's find the determinants okay so that before we look for the determinants if you're new to our channel ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel or instant notification and release a new video also give this video a like or a thumbs up this is a ghost class what we do basically in the ghost class is that we have your scholars like you with tips on all necessary information that we have to simplify academic problems for you so if you saw tips and necessary information interests you ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel we love to be getting the waiting for most ensure you subscribe to our channel now for more of videos like this and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so having done that let's get and find the determinants of a that matrix a very, very simple guys so to do that you press option go down with this down one button so you see so you have determinant press two determinants of what of matrix what a so you could press option press three close the brackets that's what press the code so determinant is what minus nine okay guys so e part of his series you find the inverse of b that matrix b very, very simple guys so all you have to do here is to go to option matrix b press 4 then inverse to get the inverse just press guys press this button and use commands so as you can see we have mat b raised to power minus 1 so that's the inverse of 
matrix separation uh, calls again the answer so this is inverse guys we have these values these are the inverse uh these are values for the inverse of this matrix very simple guys so now so find the transpose of the matrix very simple guys why this that go back to option okay to downward transposition separate three then transpose of what matrix a go to option input math a all right go back here so that's it guys you're good to do now let's press equal to to get our answer so this is the transpose of this matrix a so that these are the tricks the hack uh basically used to solve problems involving matrix with the calcium calculator particularly with this calcium fs and our es class risk calculator calcium fs 570 es class risk calculator pass the seconds multi choice questions so guys with this account the end of this class if you need to channel once more make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos so like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel done what you learned in this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response so guys don't forget to fill out your calculator once you're done to do that of which i know you have known how to do it by now you press shift button now for the instruction initialize all so you are good to do that. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.